SRM versus VIT versus Amrita. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. This quote by Benjamin Franklin is true, and India has a lot of government and private universities which help students in achieving a stable and bright future. In this video, we're going to compare three big private universities which are the most sought after by students to pursue their dream education. This is a post from your favorite education guide, College Suggest. Know your course, know your career. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications on your favorite courses and careers. In this video, we are comparing VIT Velour with the SRM Institute of Science and Technology and Amrita Vishwa Vidya Pitam. As always, we only consider the data submitted by the respective universities to NIRF for evaluation purposes. We leave the link in the description below. In this video, we are going to see the institution's approved student intake rate faculty information, financial utilization, graduation and placement rates, and other important information which can aid students to choose the right university to fulfill their dreams. Student Strength First, let's analyze the student's strength. The overall strength of the students pursuing UG and PG degrees at these three universities are VIT leads with a high number of 33,032 students. SRM with a total of 20,721, followed by Amrita with a total of 11,241. Faculty Information One of the reasons for a university to be successful is its experienced and knowledgeable faculty who promote intellectual growth to students and lead them to success. All three universities that we've put up for comparison have considerable and well-talented faculty. VIT Valor has a total of 2,565 faculty members, out of which 69.51% hold a PhD, and the faculty to student ratio is 1 is to 13. SRM has 1,467 faculty members, out of which 57.66% hold a PhD, and the faculty to student ratio is 1 is to 14. Amrita has a total of 803 faculty members, out of which 62.64% hold a PhD, and the faculty to student ratio is 1 is to 14. The faculty to student ratio is similar in all three universities. Capital Expenditure VIT, SRM, and Amrita have always given importance to investing in the infrastructure, library, and other facilities to provide a good experience for the students. In 2022, VIT spent a total of 44.6 crores, with a huge portion of 51.95% spent on creating capital assets. In 2022, SRM spent a total of 69.3 crores, and 56.65% of this was spent on buying new lab equipment. Amrita University in 2022 has spent a total of 37.5 crores, with a major portion of 47.20% spent on creating capital assets. When comparing the entire data for the academic year 2022, each university has diversified its spending percentage in different factors. Overall, SRM has the highest amount allocated for its capital expenditure compared to VIT and Amrita. Operational Expenditure Now let's look into the operational expenditure details of these three universities. For the academic year 2022, VIT has spent a total of 480 crores, a large portion of which, 73.78%, was spent on salaries for teaching and non-teaching staff. SRM has spent a total of 477 crores, a major portion of this, 51.35%, was spent on maintenance of academic facilities. For 2022, Amrita has spent a total of 185 crores, out of which 56.97% was spent on salaries for faculty and other staff. When comparing the entire data for the academic year 2022, VIT has spent 480 crores towards operating expenses and is the highest when compared to the other two institutions. Patents Research and development is a huge part of all these three universities, and they have sophisticated research facilities and well-trained faculty to guide the students. Every year, all these three universities publish patents for the research and products developed in their institutions. And let's take a look at this data. VIT in 2018 had published 47 patents and had four patents granted. In 2019, they had published 137 patents and had six granted. In 2020, a total of 139 were published and 10 were granted. SRM in 2018 had published 121 patents and had one patent granted. 
In 2019, they published 62 of them and had one patent granted. In 2020, a total of 155 were published and 13 patents were granted. Amrita University in 2018 published 19 patents and 10 of them were granted. In 2019, a total of 8 were published and 5 were granted. And in 2020, a total of 15 patents were published and 9 were granted. PhD Statistics All these three universities have a huge number of students pursuing their doctoral degrees. And let's now take a look at those numbers. VIT has 2,336 students pursuing a doctorate degree. And in the last year, a total of 325 graduated with a PhD. SRM has 1,437 students pursuing doctorate degrees. And in the last academic year, 95 of them graduated with a PhD. Amrita University has 737 students pursuing a PhD. And 38 of them were conferred with a doctoral degree in the last academic year. Sponsored Funds all three universities received sponsored funds from private and government agencies to complete projects. And let's look into this. Let's first look into VIT's details for the past three years. In 2020, VIT received 15 crores as sponsored funds for 171 projects. In 2021, they received 9 crores to complete 105 projects. And in 2022, they received 11 crores to complete 105 projects. VIT has received the highest amount in 2020. In 2020, SRM received a total of 10.8 crores from 113 projects and in 2021, they received 10.5 crores to complete 111 projects. In 2022, it decreased to 9.2 crores from 84 projects. SRM has received the highest amount in 2020. Now let's check details of Amrita University. In 2020, a total of 24 crores was received for 50 projects. In 2021, a total of 25 crores was received for 69 projects. And in 2022, a total of 32 crores was received for 47 projects. Amrita University has received the highest amount of funds in 2022. Consultancy Projects Similar to sponsored funds, each university also receives consultancy funds to complete projects. Let's take a look into these details. In 2020, VIT received a total of 53 lakhs from 50 projects. And in 2021, the amount increased to 68 lakhs from 48 projects. And in 2022, it increased further to 1.65 crores from 206 projects. VIT has received the highest funds in 2022. SRM in 2020 received 1.81 crores from 133 projects and the amount increased in 2021 to 2 crores from 217 projects. In 2022, the amount decreased to 75 lakhs from 120 projects. SRM has received the highest amount in 2021. Amrita University received 2.46 crores from 6 projects in 2020 and the amount increased to 4.36 crores from 76 projects in 2021 and in 2022, the total amount received increased to 8.25 crores from 29 projects. Amrita has received the highest amount in 2022. Clearly, in terms of total amount received through sponsored research and consultancy funds, Amrita University leads, followed by SRM and VIT, based on three years of collective data. Graduation percentage Graduation stats are an important factor while choosing a college. Let's see how these three universities have performed. VIT Velour offers a total of 18 UG courses and 23 PG courses. SRM offers 43 UG and 31 PG courses. And Amrita offers 12 UG and 17 PG courses. First, let's check the UG graduation rates for VIT. In 2020, it was 91.19% and in 2021, it has increased slightly to 91.5%. In 2022, it increased even further to 95.87%. Now let's look at the data for SRM University. First is the UG four-year program graduation percentage. In 2020, it was 88.61%. In 2021, it increased to 96.17%. And in 2022, it decreased to 90.81%. Let's check Amrita University graduation percentage rates. For the UG four-year program, in 2020, it was 82.23%. In 2021, it increased to 89.37%, and in 2022, it increased to 94.57%. Among the three universities for the past three years, VIT has the higher graduation rate, followed by SRM and Amrita. All this data indicates that these three universities have a good graduation rate in UG degree programs. Placement Percentage 
When choosing a college, most of the students also check one important factor, and that is the placement records of the university. Let's now take a look at these records for these three universities. Let's first look at VIT's placement percentage records. For the UG four-year program in 2020, it was 83.28%. In 2021, it decreased to 77.68%, and in 2022, it improved slightly to 77.89%. For 2022, the total number of UG students placed was 3,393. Now let's take a look at the SRM placement percentage records. For the UG four-year program, in 2020, it was 98.19%. In 2021, it decreased to 94.68%. And in 2022, it increased to 98.06%. For 2022, the total number of UG students placed was 4,098. Next is Amrita University. For the UG four-year program, in 2020, it was 84.14%. In 2021, it increased to 90.43%, and in 2022, it decreased to 88.98%. For the academic year 2022, the total number of UG students placed was 1,671. In terms of placement percentage for the UG four-year program in 2022, SRM leads the race, followed by Amrita University and then VIT. Salary Next, we're going to look at the median salary packages offered to students at these universities during campus placements. First, let's look at VIT University's median salary packages. For a UG four-year program, students in 2020 received 5.5 lakhs. In 2021, it increased to 6.5 lakhs, and in 2022, it remained the same at 6.5 lakhs. Next, let's look at the details of SRM University. Students who completed their UG four-year degree received a median salary package of 3.5 lakhs in 2020. In 2021, it increased to 3.6 lakhs, and in 2022, it increased to 4 lakhs per annum. Next is Amrita University. Students who completed their UG four-year degree received a median salary package of 4 lakhs in 2020. In 2021, it increased to 4.5 lakhs, and in 2022, it decreased to 4.45 lakhs per annum. Comparing the records of these three universities, VIT dominates the race with a higher salary package offered to students, followed by Amrita and finally SRM. Outreach and inclusivity. Next, we're going to look at how diverse the student population is in these three universities. First, let's have a look at VIT. VIT Velour has 77.92% of boys and 22.08% girls from the total student strength. VIT has 7,404 students from Tamil Nadu, 24,314 from other parts of the country, and 1,314 from abroad pursuing their degrees. Next is SRM. SRM has 75.64% boys and 24.36% girls from the total student strength. Of the total, 3,109 are from Tamil Nadu, 17,157 are from other parts of the country, and 455 are from abroad. Next is Amrita University. Amrita has a total of 76.6% boys and 23.4% girls from the total student strength. Of the total, 3,209 are from within the state, 7,980 are from other parts of the country, and 52 are from abroad. From these numbers, it is evident that all the universities have a major percentage of students coming in from other parts of the country and also from abroad to pursue their dream education in these universities. From these numbers, we can see that VIT leads in terms of having a diverse population of students, followed by SRM and finally Amrita. Admission Next, we're focusing on the important admission criteria required that the students should fulfill in order to join these universities. The entrance exam conducted by these three universities to intake students are as follows. VIT admits students based on VIT triple E scores. SRM intakes students based on SRM JEE, SRM Joint Entrance Examination. Amrita intakes students based on Amrita Entrance Examination Engineering or A triple E. Fee Structure the approximate fees for pursuing a UG degree in VIT costs around 1,98,000 rupees for the first year. And for the remaining three years, it is 1.95 lakhs per annum. So in total, it will cost around 7.83 lakhs to complete a UG degree in VIT. In SRM, the fee is approximately 4 lakhs per year. So to complete a UG degree, it would cost 16 lakhs. To complete a UG degree in Amrita University, one would have to spend around 13 lakhs overall. 
please note that the fee structure is subject to variation. Location and Campus Life VIT is located in Velour, Tamil Nadu and is spread across a vast 372-acre campus and provides state-of-the-art infrastructure facilities for both students and faculty. SRM is located in Katang, Bulutur, Chennai and is spread across a 250-acre campus which is well landscaped with ample greenery and is easily accessible by road and rail. Amrita University is located in Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu and sprawls over 400 acres. It is often likened to an oasis in a desert. We have given all of the insights one needs to know about all three universities. Some of our takeaway points are all three universities have good graduation and placement records and we have compared records of the past three years. It is clear that there is an improvement in both of these aspects. Student population is diverse and one can get very good exposure to meet students from different backgrounds. All these universities are spending huge amounts of money in improving their lab facilities and infrastructure, giving students a world-class experience. The faculty data also indicates that these universities hire talented staff to pass on their knowledge to students, and also the faculty to student ratio is really good. Each university tops in a different category, right from placements, graduation and expenditure. However, VIT leads the race in more aspects followed by Amrita and SRM University. VIT has a big student population and their median salary packages offered to students is higher than Amrita and SRM. Graduation rates are good in VIT. Amrita University has a good number of patents granted and also has received huge amounts of funds for sponsored and consultancy projects compared to the other two universities. SRM has high placement percentage records compared to the other two universities. It has also spent a lot of money in buying new lab equipment to improve their research facilities. VIT, SRM and Amrita are popular choices among students to pursue their engineering degree. On the other hand, the students should also prepare and score well to get admissions into these universities and should work hard to graduate to create a good career. We hope we've given you all of the insights you need about VIT, SRM and Amrita for the academic year 2022. What is the course that you want to pursue next? Tell us, we will provide you with all of the information you need to prove your decision as right. If you agree to our analysis, show us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and for more information, visit collegesuggest.com.